What the hell? What's going on, America? It's T Bob Love. Welcome to my channel. Don't forget to follow, hit the thumbs up, and hit the bell, and all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, baby. So, in today's video, right here at noon on this day, I'm wondering if the serial killer, Harry Brogan, would be so kind as to join my live stream or not. I mean, I do have a few murders to ask him about. <laughs> Maybe about 80 of them, but no, I could just, I got one in general to ask him about. I mean... I don't know what his fucking problem is with stalking me, but I'll tell you, he's the most sadistic fucking serial killer in the history of the United States. So I was wondering if he'd like to come up here and describe to us about one murder in particular. I mean, I just want to know what kind of thrill he got off of murdering people. In particular, this one murder in particular. I mean, that's all I'm asking about. Is that too much to ask? You know? Is that too much to ask of a serial killer who we already know is fucking guilty beyond a shadow of a doubt? Can we get his sorry scumbag ass to come up here on the live stream or not? He was just on here following me. I don't know where he went. He must be off there writing love letters to his fucking sister who I'm pretty sure he's had sex with multiple times. Because I don't know of a female alive who would let him move in, not pay no fucking rent, and just mooch off of her. And I mean, that's pretty pathetic. You know, it's pretty pathetic. I mean, she's a teacher. You'd think she'd know better, right? I mean, what is she going to teach her children in the classrooms? To be sure to let the serial killer family member move in? That way, maybe he'll kill your fucking ass, too? I mean, I don't know. Is she suicidal or what? I ain't figured that out yet. But it is what it is, baby. Harry Brogan lives in Nebraska. His son lives in fucking Maine. And he has been outed as a serial killer. Do we need to say more? Come on up here, Harry Brogan. I want to hear about your murderous ways in the fact that you're a fucking serial killer you fucking bitch there you go I made it easy for you I put the link down here for you Harry <clears throat> And if Harry don't join, we don't give a flying fuck. Because this afternoon, I just want to point out what the American people truly think of Joe Cocaine Biden. Here you go, Joe Biden. This is what we think of you. Fuck ye. Fuck Joe Biden and a fucking donkey that rode his fucking butthole. That's what the American people think of you, Harry Brogan. And Joe Biden, hold on a minute, <clears throat> let me reiterate what the American people think of Joe Biden. Mm. Uh, right there, baby, that says it all. Joe Biden, you are a filthy piece of fucking shit. <clears throat> I don't even think you're qualified to hold office as a court gesture. You're so fucking stupid. Running a fucking ad. Joe Biden just 
open up jobs for Americans with $6.6 billion that he gave to Taiwan, who is only hiring illegal immigrants in the United States. So he coined the phrase, made in America with $6.6 billion. How do you like me now? The only problem is there's not a single fucking American that's going to be hired to make those stupid semiconductor microchips that are never going to be fucking made. Joe has already pulled off this fucking scam with China and, you know, giving them money to make microchips in America. And they never made a single fucking chip. In fact, the very following year, they left America. They closed down that business and told Joe, thank you for all of the billions of fucking dollars, honey. Here's your little kickback with about $600 million, Mr. Joe. We appreciate the $6 billion that you gave us. That's exactly what the fuck is going on with this bullshit where he's giving Taiwan $6.6 billion and yet not a single fucking penny to the American people. And he hasn't created a single fucking job for a single fucking American unless it's getting butt fucked by being on a staff. You know, like his fucking speaker and all them cocksuckers that are working for him. Well, there you go. If you're not sucking Joe Biden's fucking limp fucking dick, and we all know it's limp by now, because he can't even remember how to get a fucking heart on. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you, he's got his fucking minions out there running around trying to say he's doing good for America. That is fucking high siding on bullshit. You know, when when you cut a fucking turd and it's laying down there on the fucking carpet, you've already cut a fucking turd. How do you try to turn that fucking turd into an American inspired fucking turd or maybe even better yet a golden egg we got news for Joe Biden he does not lay golden eggs he takes a shit just like everybody else and that shit stinks just like everybody else only Joe Biden is stinking up the fucking White House and there is the rest of the story Ooh, what a, that's a hell of a deal isn't it Other than that, Joe Biden and his people, they suck cold turkey, but not Harry Brogan. If he finds a fucking homosexual or a homosexual Democrat, that's even better. No, oh, he loves you homosexual Republicans too because, well, if he can go out with you and suck your cock and then maybe he can be with you when you stop by a convenience store or a regular store buy a bunch of shit and he don't give a shit about the groceries but the second you lean into your vehicle to grab those fucking bags there's Harry to stab you in the fucking back over 60 fucking times and then maybe even if you're lucky set your motherfucking ass on fire after he ransacks your fucking apartment how about that? Yeah, what a piece of shit this motherfucker is, right? So I thought, well, you know, I bash Harry a lot because he is a serial killer and we all know it. So how about we invite Harry Brogan up here on this live stream and maybe he'll tell us about how he enjoyed murdering people by stabbing them in the fucking back, you know, 60, 80, maybe 120 fucking times like a goddamn madman, and did it give him extra special privilege status in his own fucking brain that he got to smell the flesh of a burning human and hear the last fucking yelp that they ever fucking made? Is that what put a smile on Harry Brogan's fucking face or what? I'm pretty sure I'm right about that. But I don't know. Let's hear from Harry Brogan. How about you bring your sorry fucking ass up here on the live stream, Harry? And let's hear from you what kind of pleasure you got out of murdering all them motherfuckers. Because I'm going to tell you, Harry, this is not even a fucking question. 
whether or not you're a serial killer. Everybody that's been looked at your fucking history knows for a fact that you are a serial killer. So we know you're a fucking serial killer, Harry. So why not just come in here and admit it and tell us about the great fucking pleasure you got. And what's the most money you ever got from robbing a motherfucker after stabbing him to death over 60 fucking times? Huh? Maybe you come up here and tell us that. Harry. Harry, Harry Brogan, the king of the serial killers. <laughs> Don't turn your back. Don't turn your back. Or he will stab your ass. <laughs> I mean, what kind of a fucking sadistic motherfucker so desperate for a couple of dollars that he actually has to go stab a motherfucker over 60 to 80 fucking times? What kind of fucking nutcase does that kind of shit? And even then, he's so stupid. Fucking stupid. He don't know how to kill somebody with a fucking knife. No, not Harry. He goes and gets gasoline and pours it on you and then burns your fucking ass to death. Yeah, oh, you don't want to die? Okay, all right. Okay, I'll see how it is. No, I, I'll be right back. Comes back with a fucking gasoline. Pours the gasoline all over you and your fucking wounds. And then lights a match and throws it on you. Boom, you set up in the fucking flames. You're fucking screaming and yelling. You can't do nothing because I mean, you're pretty much paralyzed after being stabbed 100, 120 fucking times. Who knows how many times? And maybe 200 times in some cases. But you're paralyzed. You ain't getting up and put in a fight for nothing. But because you haven't died yet, even though you're going to fucking die, oh, Harry ain't waiting around. He going to light your ass on fire right then and there so he can smell your burning flesh. And when you let out that last yelp, <laughs> he, he can fucking smile ear to ear thinking about how he just experienced the motherfucker burning to death. You know, with the smell and the sound and Knowing that you're helpless as fuck, and he just, on top of that, killed your fucking ass. And he just got through robbing your fucking ass of all your worldly possessions. I mean, what a sick motherfucker, right? So I'd like to invite that sick motherfucker up here on my fucking live stream. I don't see anything wrong with that. We'll call it the interview of a madman. How about that, Harry? I'll be very nice to you. Obviously, you're one of the nicest guys on the fucking internet. Outside of your internet stalking and you're literally killing motherfuckers by stabbing them in the fucking back. Because you're a backstabbing son of a bitch. Like in real life, right? So come on up here, Harry, and let's get this interview done. I got a lot of fucking murders to ask you about, Mr. Harry Brogan. Is you scared? Don't be scared. You've been on plenty of live streams. Only you've never told your story about why you're so addicted to murdering motherfuckers. That's the only story that you've never told. That story is the story that everybody wants to hear. And are you going to kill your fucking sister while you're living with her in her fucking house? Is that what you're planning on doing? Well, I see you over there building these fucking models of buildings like houses and hotels and, you know, whatnot. And what fucking area are you are you stalking your people in now while you're living with your, si your sister in uh, fucking Nebraska? Which, according to you, was supposed to be temporary because you were visiting your fucking daughter. And does she have that serial killer mentality? Is she also a serial murderer? Is your sister a serial killer? And 
And is this something that's just a part of your fucking family's existence? Just runs in the DNA? Come on up here and explain it to us, Harry. Is this something that your uncle taught you or something you just kind of, you know, figured out for yourself? How to be a scumbag piece of shit. Serial killer. I'm just curious, Mr. Harry. Come on up here and explain it to us. What kind of fucking thrill you get while you're smelling burning flesh and you're listening to a motherfucker scream to death and give out that last fucking yelp until the fire just absolutely fucking consumes them. And Harry, are you worried about the DNA that you left behind at several murders? And is that why you left Virginia Beach? Because those cops were just following you everywhere? We got news for you, Harry. Go to the fucking store today. Today. Go to the fucking store. And then if you make it back without being arrested, I want you to come up here on this live stream and explain to us how you did not notice the feds following your fucking ass to the convenience store and then watching you while you're at the convenience store. Does that give you a fucking thrill when you go in there and you purchase some bubble gum and you don't purchase a drink and you don't throw anything in the trash so they can't get your DNA? Does it give you a personal fucking right of privilege in some fucking sadistic fucking way, you piece of shit? I'm just curious. There's the fucking link, Harry. I'm not I'm not trying to run a live stream and not give you your say. I mean, I want to hear it. Come on, explain it to us, Harry, because I know for a motherfucking fact that you are a fucking serial killer, you piece of shit. So how about you come on here and explain it to us? Don't come up here and deny it because ain't nobody going to believe your sorry fucking ass. You can give that up. You didn't get away with it, Harry. You are fucking guilty as sin. And that's the bottom line. Well, folks, Harry came and went. I watched him come in here and went. He fucking left. What a coward motherfucker, right? He's so coward. He can't even come on up here and explain to us if he's actually planning to murder his fucking sister or not. But my, my, uh, my prediction is that Harry Brogan will kill and murder his fucking sister, Diane, by stabbing, strangulation, and or by fire. And he will rob that little tiny fucking house she lives in. And then he will go somewhere else and rent a fucking room. Even though he can't afford rent any place in the fucking United States, he will probably do that or just go become a recluse in Canada. You know, a building a little shack in the mountains somewhere kind of thing. Even though his stupid fucking ass don't know how to fish, he'll be up there in Canada committing serial murders and robbing motherfuckers just to get by in life. You know, after he stabs them 50, 60, even 100 fucking times. Because, well... That's just the kind of guy that Harry is. I mean, he doesn't want his victims to get stabbed ten times, even though that should be plenty to fucking that you're absolutely going to die. Oh, no, we got to stab you another 100 fucking times just to make sure. And if I look back at you and think you're going to fucking survive, this is the, the, the thought train of Harry. If he thinks you're going to fucking survive, He's got to go get that fucking gasoline, baby. <laughs> Ain't that right, Harry? Because you're a gasoline fire starting motherfucker. Allah Akbar, meat bear. Okay. What are you coming in here with that fucking Muslim bullshit? Nobody gives a fuck about your lame ass, you fucking piece of shit. So why are you coming here with that bullshit? Well, was you just one minute? Oh, okay, you're somebody that just created a profile for me to fucking block. 
Okay, I'll block you. There you go. Get the fuck out of here, you shit stinking fucking piece of shit. Fuck you and Harry Brogan and the goddamn horse that you rode in on. Fucking piece of shit. Coming in here with some fucking radical bullshit. Ali Akbar. Fuck you. You're probably a white American. Coming in here with that bullshit. You know. It's not hard. We, we see y'all a mile away. It's like when Joe Biden says he's doing something for Made in America. I guarantee you, whatever he spent money on, like this Taiwan semi-microchip uh, conductor bullshit, he, they're not hiring a single fucking American, and there will not be a single goddamn microchip ever fucking built by Taiwan in America. That's just not going to fucking happen. What you will see is them pretending that they shut business down because nobody's buying their fucking microchips. Just like when Joe Biden did this shit with China. This is how he uses your taxpayer money to give them $6.6 billion and then to receive $600 million back into his fucking pocket. God bless America. No, he didn't. No, God forsake, has forsaken America because we know this because he gave us the neo-Nazi scumbag piece of shit who has no job, never had a fucking job, never had a fucking income in his life. And yet, he's worth more than $10 million. Yeah. What a motherfucking piece of shit Joe Biden is. Um, at least Harry did have a job in the past, one or two. <laughs> you know, one of them being that he started up his own business installing and, you know, uh, repairing computers and online shit. The motherfucker only used his business to stop motherfuckers. Because Harry is addicted to murdering people and robbing them. That's his forte. I'll tell you, come on up here, Harry. T-Bob Love has a few questions for you. About your fucking serial killing. And don't come up here with, I'm not a serial killer bullshit. We know for a motherfucking fact that you are a serial killer, Harry. It's amazing that you've gotten along with it this, this long. Uh, but, you know, that's a lot of fucking luck on your part. <laughs> Ugh. Harry, Harry Brogan, king of the serial killers. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess that's enough for today. I don't know what to tell you, folks. But God bless. Peace out. And I'll catch you on the next go around. Just remember, if you ever do meet a Harry Brogan, don't turn your back on Harry Brogan. And never invite him into your house. His sister is one dumb fucking bitch. If she's that fucking dumb, I don't think she's fucking smart enough to be a fucking teacher. I mean, if you think about it, she teaches at that fucking college up the road from her house. But she's so fucking dumb that she got a serial killer living in her fucking house. I'm talking about Diane Brogan. What, is he stupid? If you looked him up, you know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about here. Yeah, ain't that some shit? Harry Brogan. Harry has probably lit his fucking turds on fire 
just to see if there's any fucking yelping comes out of that. Even though a turd can't fucking talk or yelp or scream or anything. I'll bet he's done it. I'll bet he sets fucking little dogs and cats on fire. Just so he can get the thrill of burning animal flesh that he fucking murdered. <laughs> yeah, it's true. Hey, everybody in Nebraska, how you doing? Y'all better watch it. There's a serial killer lives in your fucking state. And unlike any of the other serial killers, we know who this motherfucker is. And that's the bottom line. God bless you guys.